Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me. So I have a great card that uh, is going to use the Stamparatus again and the Varied Vases stamp set, which I haven't used in a really long time, but the card is so adorable. I just wanted to show it to you. And I'm also going to be using this new stamp set, which is called Sending You Thoughts, which is going to be available to you for free starting in uh, January 3rd. So just a few days away. And so if you like any of these greetings and you're like, oh my goodness, I have to have that, then the only way to get it is free with a $50 purchase starting January 3rd. So uh, here's the celebration catalog. And if you're near me and need to get one of these, please let me know. And this catalog, the holiday catalog, is going to be ending on January 2nd. So I am going to be extending my December hostess code to January 2nd, and on January 3rd is when I will start the new code. All right, so I think I have lost some of my things here. Ah, there they are. So this is actually a good uh, example for you to look at because I have added some Tombow liquid adhesive to the uh, backs of these um, vases that I've already punched out with the punch that coordinates with the very vases stamp set. And I have put just a drop of the Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue on the back of each of these. And this, the reason why this is called multi-purpose is because it is both a permanent adhesive and a, a um, repositionable. So if you let it dry without putting it on a piece of paper, you just get sticky and it will actually not permanently adhere to anything that it is on. So the reason why I did that in advance, and I just did a little tiny dot on each of these because I will be permanently adhering them to my card, but I want to position them, but, and I want the um, freedom to move them out of the way so I can get the stamping done. So I'm going to set those aside. And this is on my um, rubber, my silicone mat, which nothing will stick to. So it's great for holding things that have glue or using it underneath your gluing pattern. So I'm going to be using this mosaic paper. I have forgotten the name of it. So I'm going to get up and look at it. Mosaic Mood Specialty Designer Series paper. It is gorgeous paper. And it has this... Um, on one side, it has these raised shiny bits. I don't know if you can see those in the camera. Oh yeah, you can see them a little bit. So this one I think just looks like a counter countertop tile. So I'm gonna be cutting this strip out to add to my card that my bases are gonna set on. I am using uh, So Saffron, Whisper White, and Mint Macaron. I will be punching out vases out of various pieces of this designer series paper just like that and then um, I don't know if I will need any of these pieces but I'll go ahead and just set them over here in a little pile in case I need any more bases so what I'm going to be using now to trim my paper is this adorable little mini trimmer which is something that you can get when you order the starter kit you hear People laughing out there. <laughs> I didn't close the door. So this is uh, the mini, tr mini trimmer that's available in the $99 starter kit. And you're also going to get a six by six piece. Oops, I did not line that up very well, did I? Okay, so I'm just gonna trim the other end off. There we go. And then just push it through. So, I was talking and not paying much attention to lining this up, but I want to check my line up here and then check my line down here. And if you have to adjust, then you make sure that you send your eyes back up to the other direction whenever you need um, to readjust your paper. So I want to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to. Okay. So I'm stuck with that little bit of brown showing. I suppose I could try again. Yeah, maybe I'll just try again on this strip right here. And I'm going to try to get more of that white showing. There. Let's see. Try that. And then push it through. But isn't this baby trimmer so adorable? 
and it's really handy for this kind of stuff. I've been using it to cut apart words. Once your um, paper is trimmed to six inches, then you can put it through here to trim. So fun. All right, it's not pretty. Whoosh. All right, I don't need these pieces anymore. Let's get those out of the way. All right, I am going to put this together a little later. Oh, let me tell you the measurements. So this piece right here is three and three quarters by five. So that means that this is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Just increased the measurements by one eighth. Uh, the card base is five and a half by eight and a half. And then my insert for the cent for the inside of the card, which I will be stamping as well, uh, is going to be four by five and a quarter. And all of those measurements will be on my blog as well. So I'm going to take the magnets off of the back of my Stamparatus in two separate hands so that they don't stick together. Like I am likely to do. Opening this up, I'm going to set my card in the middle. I'm going to pay attention to where I'm putting it. So I'm going to use this corner right here. So in case my paper does move, I can get it back into the right spot. All right. Oh, I think I need to add this to the bottom first. Yeah, I do. So I'm adding a little bit of Tombow to that strip. Move that magnet. And actually this grid on here will help me line this up. There we go. Pretty. All right, so here is where the fun part comes in. We're gonna add some vases to this little shelf area. I'm gonna put this one right in the center, that guy. And let's see, how about this one over here? There's a little squatty one. This little squatty green one there. And then I think I want this terracotta tile one. And how about another large one? I think I could probably do more. I think on my other card, I might have done more bases, but for now. So these are not permanently adhered. So again, see that comes right up and it doesn't damage the paper at all. What I am going to do with the stamping is position this with my apparatus and then remove the bases. So I'm going to be using that one. And this one and this one. And I'm going to use all the same colors. So I will only have to stamp this. I will stamp the stems once and then I will stamp the flower inserts or the flower centers. Okay, so We'll add that there. And this one here. And then this one over here on the end. Okay. So because I don't want the, um, I don't want to stamp on top of my vases, what I'll do is because I have those all lined up exactly where I want them, I'll just close the door of my apparatus and see now it's sticking to the paper, so I will have to push that back into place. And I will remove the vases. I might take a thick tool there. The spatula would probably be a good tool to use for this right now, wouldn't it? Let me show you that. So just turn that around and pick that up with the spatula. That's handy. This is a wonderful, wonderful tool. If you don't have one yet, I think that you should have one. It makes my life so easy in so many ways. All right, so let's ink those up. And if I don't get a good image because I'm using this apparatus, 
always re-ink and stamp again. I love this stamp set. I don't use it often enough. Oh, those look really good. I like it. All right, so I am not done with the black. I'm going to go ahead and do the greeting. It says, um, if loving thoughts could heal. So I want that to go right there. All right. So let me clean those off. Before I remove them and start getting black ink all over everything. Alrighty. And let's see about this. Now, I'm not real sure about this particular stamp, so I'm going to show you one of my tricks that I like to do. I like to just put a post it down and check and make sure that it's coming out nice and straight. So I'm going to line this posted up along the top of my paper, make sure that my image will be all the way on the post-it. And then I don't have to be careful about inking this up. I just want to make sure that those words look straight and look pretty good. Yeah. So I'm ready to ink up and stamp my greeting. And I'll just give that one more. There, beautiful. Now I'm ready to do the flower centers. So let's get those out. You're going to love this. You're going to love this. Oops, I guess I need to take that off. Oh, a little too excited. Get my greeting off there. So these are the flower centers for this guy over here. Let's line that up. I'll adjust it some more in a moment. And these are the centers over here. The middle bent over and goes here. Okay, so I'm gonna carefully get these into position. I'm gonna take a pick tool and I'm gonna be using the exact same color so I'll be able to do this all at the same time. It would be lovely to do multiple colors, but I'm kind of going for easy. And plus I love the way our co colors coordinate together. So just kind of sticking with that single color. All right, ready to pick those up and just making sure that I'm in that corner. So if I need to adjust again, I'm going to line this up a little bit better across the top there. So in case my paper moves, I know where to go so that I get these images lined up. Inside flower stems. Okay, so see how it moved a little? So I'll Make sure that it goes back up in place. All right, let's see how this is going to work. So saffron. Those look like they're in position. Yeah, good enough. This one got off a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about it. I could do them all three separate, but I just wanted to show you how wonderful the Stamparatus is. Okay, this one didn't, ink didn't cut off. There we go. And over here a little bit more. Isn't that lovely, the way you can just close it and you get a do-over without it costing you. Yay. 
I love them, love them. All right, so let's add the glue, the permanent glue this time. The other vases don't get flowers, they're sad, but oh well. So now adding a little more of the Tombow liquid adhesive. I'll just put that right on top of the stems again with that coordinating color. So saffron, oh, isn't that sweet? And then a little more blue on the center base and then the last one there we go oh so sweet <gasps> I love it all right so these guys here are gonna need some permanent glue as well. Yeah, I think my original one I did more vases, but this looks great. If you are liking this video and love this card, I would so appreciate you giving me a thumbs up below the video and subscribing to my channel so I can keep bringing you these gorgeous cards and fabulous tips for using our Stampin' Up! product. So let me clean those flower centers up. And I'll remove them real quick. Got kind of a pile that I'm going to have to put away. I am ready to stamp the center of the card or the inside of the card. Let me grab that over here. And I'm going to be doing another uh, Hi Jackson. You doing a live stream or again? It's not a live stream, it's a video. So I'm going to be doing oh, that one right there. And I'm gonna pull this. There's Jackson. This one out. Oh, this one doesn't have glue on it, so maybe I'll just use this one instead because it already has glue. So there we go. That's where that's going to go. And this has kind of gotten out of position. So I'm going to put, oh, sorry, it was a new piece. So new position. All right, so that has to move. And I will go ahead and add the greetings. They're both going to be in black. So if loving thoughts could heal, you'd be better already. So that's going to go fairly center. There we go. Ooh, that got crooked. Did you see that? All right, so I'm going to use the grid line on the plate to line that up. And I suspect that because I'm using a rubber stamp and a photopolymer stamp at the same time, I might end up with issues. But let's see how it turns out. Oops, I forgot to remove the vase before I stamped. Good thing I caught that. But I already had a, an idea for how I was going to fix that. And that was just to glue another. Oh, I guess it's going to work. There we go. I saw the new Star Wars last night. Have you guys seen the new Star Wars? Oh, my gosh. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I had heard before I went that I didn't get good reviews. But I am a Star Wars lover. Love them all since the beginning. I've seen them all since the beginning. Some of you probably weren't even alive when the first ones came out. There we go. Okay. I'll clean these up. And then I'll pick up that stamp. There we go. I'm trying to go fast. Alrighty, 
There we go. And let's get some So Saffron ink on those flower centers. Ooh, sorry. I hit the camera. Sorry about that. And there we go. Oh, I love it. And the centers are white. Can you see that? It's so sweet. It's just so delicate and perfect. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I love these stamps. Okay. Get that cleaned up. And I am ready to put this card together. All right, I'll go ahead and start with the inside. I guess I need that little base back on there, don't I? So again, this was four by five and a quarter. And I'll add a little more glue to the back of that base. Oh, so sweet. You know, a card just like this, just a simple card with one vase and one flower is just so delicate. I love it. You don't need to have five vases, but hey, why not? All right, so let's go ahead and add my little white panel to the mint macaron. If you need any of these supplies to make this card, please just follow the link to my blog where you can go to my online store. I will have all of the products listed. Uh, you can just click on any product that you need and it'll take you straight to my store where you can order it. Easy peasy. Make sure that you use the December postcode if you are ordering today or by January 3rd. If you are watching this at some later date, then you can just find my most recent post and find my most recent code. These products are in, most of these products, except for this free stamp set, are in the annual catalog. So will be available at least until the end of May. Is it June? I think it's end of May. Isn't it sweet? You love the card please give me a thumbs up if you like this card and you want me to keep making videos for you with helpful tips and there's the inside again and until next time happy stamping <laughs>